Good evening. Hey. How are you? I am fantastic, Karen. How are you? Great. How is everybody in Facebook Live land this evening? So far, it's just Karen and I, which is kind of cool because we can talk amongst ourselves. Yeah. I like you. Thanks. Mm. I like you too. Yeah, yeah, I like sharing my life with you. It's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, good evening and how are you this evening? Welcome to our Facebook Live. We've titled tonight, Instead Of. Instead Of. Instead Of. Yeah. So we're really excited about that. Uh, it's great to, to be back online with my best friend. Uh, we kind of... Uh, started this online journey a little bit, this live Q and A, many, many feels like years ago to be totally honest. Months, months ago, uh, and it's been a fantastic journey. So uh, glad to be with you. Hi, Kai and Beth and Aunty Tanya's on with us, which is so exciting. So why don't you just continue to give us some waves and some highs and some hellos and tell us who's there? Because uh, I, I only the people that that we actually sort of have got some friends on mine are, are all be coming up. But I saw the wonderful Trish online there, and hello, Laura. We're, we're Laura's favourites. Two of. Well, she said favourites. There was no other implication that she actually has other favourites. We must be it. Sylvie, hey Sylvie, she's one of my favourites. Yes, I like Sylvie. Hey, can I just ask a, a really quick question? If you were to say that we were two favourites in a box of favourites, oh, who would you think I'd be and who would Karen be? Now, I know which chocolate is Karen's favourite, right? but who do you reckon I would be? Uh, who do you reckon Carol would be in a box of favourites? I'd like to see that just as we kill some time and wait for some of our friends to come along. Look at the... the the viewers have already started to drop off. They're going, is this what we're doing tonight? Well, nobody wants to incriminate themselves. Teresa would tell me yeah. what sort of chocolate she thinks I am in a box of... In a box of mm. Yep. Okay. Something very nutty, maybe like a picnic bar or something. I'm kind of expecting that. Yeah. Ah, oh, Karen is playing Cadbury. Thank you, Laura. Yes, for I'm sure. A I'm a Snickers. <laughs> is that like a snicker? <laughs> at least no one sort of called me a flake at the moment. Oh. That's kind of that's kind of good. Um, they've got the new creations in there, so it's got the oh, ones yeah. with the snap, crackle, and pop in there. The ones that keep popping. The ones that they keep popping. Mm. Uh, the pineapple ones, the like the pineapple caramel Disgusting. filled ones. Don't like them. No. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. <laughs> anyway, hey, thank you for coming to hang out with us. We uh, look. We sort of said last week that we want to chat with our family and. and online family about some changes that we want to make in our online space but I guess first as we sort of open up I guess some thoughts in around this year hasn't this just been a crazy year and I probably even said the Polly Waffle thank you Trish can you get Polly Waffles in the favourites box I don't know what is a Polly Waffle Polly Waffles they're old school they were really good they had like uh, bits of almost um Oh, Trish, you'll have to tell us what a poly waffle is because it was like it was wafer and chocolate and almost um, oh, rice bubbles. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Trish. Great contribution. But um, so I, I'm probably at the point of saying I'm sick of saying, gee, what a year 2020 has been. Hmm. But instead of is a tra transformation in our thinking. Um, transfer, I've already started something terrible now, haven't I? Um, but transformation in our thinking, and we want to. I want to move towards uh, looking at Isaiah sixty-one later on, where it talks about the things instead of, instead of. But it would be so easy to see, maybe not even just twenty twenty, as much as it's taught us new languages and new bits and pieces. But it would be really easy to see twenty twenty as an interruption, as being an inconvenience, as really being something which has been corrupted. Um, you know, or just just you know, inconsistent. Mm -hmm. uh, all words that we could probably put onto this year, uh, or we could actually, instead of seeing as being an interruption, instead of seeing this year as being an inconvenience, mm -hmm. we could see this year as being an invitation. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Because I know that the way that we had to gather, mm -hmm. communicate, mm -hmm. the way that we've we've got to share and grow and connect with each other, all of that has has had to adjust. Uh, in some cases, really change. Other areas has had to be has had to be navigated through. Mm. I mean, your whole workplace has changed. Yes, yes, it has. It has. 
um, move on to the on, into the online yeah. space, and that will become the new norm. I think in many respects, what can be different classes that can be delivered online will um, probably will stay that way for a lot of institutions, right. um, for a lot of different organisations now. So I think there's it's practical and um, yeah. Yeah, the way we've done school. You know, the way that we, uh, you know, there was so much of communication, so much of that has changed and we can go, I don't like it. Mm. And I guess, you know, Mark Twain who said, no one likes change unless you're a wet baby. Um, but, and, and I guess uh, I was wrestling with it today. There's this sense of Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. Uh, Deuteronomy tells us that I am the Lord and I do not change. Mm. Uh, so much of the nature of God is he doesn't change like shifting shadows. There's no turning in him he is he is permanently consistent um i think one of the greatest measures of his majesty is his stillness mm. and his composure and that settled peace that is so much of of jesus and, and within the godhead mm. uh, it's a beautiful thought isn't it you know so a measure of his majesty is actually in his stillness where he could come roaring and rushing and changing he's so still and then we have almost, it's not a contradiction, but it's, it's, a, it's an interesting twist when then he says, but don't you perceive there's a new thing? Yeah. I'm, I'm, can't you see? Can't you perceive it? Would you know it in your heart? Behold, I'm doing a new thing. It's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, absolutely. Good, good, good. So um, what I, what I'd like to sort of chat through uh, one of the words that the Lord has not the Lord, but I guess 2020 has given us. There's been some different words that, that we've used throughout 2020 that we never thought we'd be using. Pandemic, lockdown, isolation. Mm. Um, I discovered a new word today. Yeah, what's that? Freegan. Freegan. Now, not, not oh, that, that was a freegan hot piece of pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay, but freegan, freegan, can I read you this? Oh, yeah. it's so funny. Freegan combines the word free and vegan. You may have known this, Teresa, uh, but sometimes known as a dumpster diver. Mm. A freegan, get this, is a person who believes it is wrong to throw away food when millions of people around yeah. the world are hungry. This is very noble. But for this reason, they will only eat food they can get for free, which would have usually been thrown out or wasted. <laughs> freegan, I only eat food which I can get for free. I think that's fantastic. That's one of the new words that's going into the Oxford Dictionary yeah, wow. for 2020. So uh, good work, Oxford Dictionary. But the, this year, one of the words that, would, that we've learned to, to come into alignment with, that we've learned to hold gently with, is the word pivot. Yeah, okay, good word. And we've had to pivot. And we've had to pivot in how we do things. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that there is, uh, there is a sense of anxiety within our community mm -hmm what it means to open up the Tasmanian borders. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, are we, going, are we going to have to pivot again? Are we going to have to change again? Mm. What happens if, what happens if? And I guess we're tired of the pivoting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if we can see a pivot as an invitation, yeah. not an interruption, if we could see a pivot as, as an invitation into, to knowing ourselves, yeah. our, our, you know, we've discovered a strength mm. inside of ourselves. Come on, as Australians... Uh, and, and as people of the planet, yeah. I think we've we have uncovered a strength, a resilience, a unity across the globe, mm. with our brothers and sisters in South America and America and in India and Indonesia, you know, right throughout Europe, uh, decimated mm. by this this disastrous disease. Um, but hasn't it drawn something up inside yeah. of us that has unified us mm. so much more than being self-serving about Nike and. Manchester United and Coca Cola and McDonald's. There's been a, there's been a human condition that we that we have not even escaped all the way down here in yeah. in Tassie, and it's an invitation to know this. Absolutely. So in in some of my notes here, I just sort of went, Karen, and I want to say wow, 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 and thank you. So thank you guys for for being so resilient. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being so uh, faithful and so encouraging. Mm -hmm. Thank you for allowing that pivot to take place in your heart, your head, our relationships, it's really quite remarkable. And um, we were just sharing before we came on air that um, you know there's that sense of when we don't get something right, mm -hmm. it's so easy to go, oh, I just feel condemnation, yeah. as opposed to when we go, oh, I didn't get that right. But that's 
God working inside our lives, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's actually God working up inside of us, uh, mm-hmm. saying, hey, that didn't go right. It's almost like we ate too much freaking food. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, I'm going to get in trouble. But it's my, I, I, go, I ate too much pizza last night, so I feel sick, mm-hmm. so I won't do that again. Yeah. Um, I wish I could say that was true, but I won't do that again because there's something inside of me which... If we could actually say, oh, that didn't feel great when I did that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to think that. I don't want to believe that. I don't want those words to come out of my mouth. I don't want that to be my natural default position of responding, reacting, judging, criticizing. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel, ugh, when that happens. What if we celebrated that? Yeah. What if we saw that as an invitation to go, oh, man, that's, that's Jesus convicting me. Because there's no condemnation in him. He's not yeah, coming around right. and going, oh, you are just a bad person. And putting this weight upon us we're actually going this is the holy spirit convicting me and inviting me into going huh i could i can pivot out of that yeah, and move away from that i i, I like that so yeah, um so anyway so the word pivot mm-hmm. is a word that we've used yes just keep on going yeah you're doing great don't want to add it's anything no okay. no why? I don't know. You're I'm just because I just love you. I just want to make sure there's space for you. Oh, good. I good, good. promise I'll interrupt. <laughs> yeah, good, 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 great. Yep. All right. Well, I can relax now. Then. Yeah. So, so we know that um, Jeremiah 29 says, "I know the plans I have for you," says the Lord. So, when it comes time to pivoting mm. in our lives, in and and sometimes in, in workplaces, we we go, "This has been my job," yeah. and now I have to pivot. Mm. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, and yet, what if it was an invitation? Mm. Um, you know, uh, I know that as we've walked through this last season with navigating you in, in uh, your multiple workspaces, mm. there's been pivots mm. and, uh, and there was a big internal wrestle mm. with what does this mean? Is this, is this right? Because sometimes it actually feels really uncomfortable. Yeah. But just because it feels uncomfortable because it's different mm. doesn't mean that it's wrong. And you have demonstrated to me an ability to pivot uh, pursuing his peace mm-hmm. and every time we've tried to anyway I'll, I won't go too much down I'm digging myself a hole here but um, you know because God knows the plans he has for our life right? yes, yes, he does. Um, Jer- Joshua 1 9 actually says have I not commanded you be strong mm-hmm. and courageous yeah. don't be afraid mm-hmm. um, you know we have seen so many of our loved ones I'm just sort of seeing Teresa being so encouraging but there have been times in the midst of all that everybody else has been dealing with, and Teresa and Bonnie have carried yeah. through health issues, yeah. um, that they have had to hold on to. I'm going to stay strong yes. and courageous mm. because God has good plans for me. And even if I'm pivoting and pivoting and pivoting, mm. um, there's a difference between sort of zigging and zagging and, and being inconsistent in our mind. But the way that, that, that Bonnie and Teresa have been able to navigate their way through and not just lock on again it's got to be my way mm. or it's not our way at all yeah i just think it's brilliant yeah. uh, proverbs uh, 3 tells us trust in the lord with all your heart and lean on your own understanding mm. uh, and, and in all your ways submit them to him and he'll make your paths straight, straight yeah. um, so when a pivot looks like it's bang 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 when we trust him mm. it's actually not this crazy zigzag path it's actually, a, it's actually a path of truth, mm. steadfastness, walking with him. Mm. I think that's amazing. Um, and, and then obviously we had that, just to reference if anyone wants it, Hebrews 13, 8, which is Jesus is the same yesterday and today and yeah. ever. Yeah. And then Isaiah 43, 9, it says, see, I'm doing a new thing. Mm. And you go, well, help me out. <laughs> so anyway, I think, I think that's kind of cool. So I guess we're building towards something tonight of actually saying how we're pivoting in our mm. online space yes but i'm wanting to build a a a deeper sense of devotional time with us Mm. as as i guess we are moving out of a a a live facebook Mm. time um to actually help us go this is this is going to be even better Mm. than what we had before uh and so i want to come back i want to do isaiah 61 Mm. i'd like to do philippians 4 but i guess just for our friends who are online and if you could sort of start communicating this out you might want to share this one out tonight a little bit particularly um for uh, a bunch of the friends that you've seen engaging online um you know participating maybe they're the people who have been saying yeah live i've been loving the 
the the Tuesday mornings, the Wednesday nights, the Thursday nights. I've been really, I've been really getting a lot out of that. You probably want to start sharing this with yeah. them that we feel that it's a time to pivot away from doing uh, a whole series of live Facebook posts at seven o'clock. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah, we we just really get a sense that it was so important during a lockdown mm. season. It opened up gifts in our team yes, that yes. was just yes. phenomenal. Mm. Uh, and to see so many people stepping in. Yeah. I know I celebrated so Alex last week, but I think of Sam Harris. I think of what Terry, I think of Pip's stories mm. and the way she's brought those out. Teresa. Ali Vespa, Teresa yeah. was incredible. Uh, you know, so many other guests coming in. Um, and the gifts that that has drawn up in us has been wonderful. And uh, please, 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 please know we're not stopping our, our online engagements. Mm. Please know that we're not going anywhere, we're just doing a little pivot. Yes. Because what we actually really feel it's important to, to do is to be able to open up some more time and space as the season opens mm. up. And I mean that in a, in a spiritual sense, but also in the natural sense. Mm. It's beautiful and light outside still. We're praying, praying, praying for some more warmth. Well, so we can, <laughs> yeah, but I just want to eat dinner outside with, with thongs on. Um, I, 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 I'm not wear that, a jumper and thongs? Yeah, I, I, I'm not asking for the Stop. world. I just want to have a barbecue and thongs on. Mm. But anyway, but we're praying for that. And we, what we would love to be able to do is be able to open up uh, our family time, mm. our community time, to maybe not feel like, oh, it's 7 o'clock, I need to be online. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to establish just one midweek message. Yep. Uh, and uh, we'll do. It'll be posted at seven o'clock next week, mm -hmm. but from there we're going to next bring Wednesday it night. next Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, from there we're going to bring it forward in the week, mm -hmm. um, and it'll just be a, it'll be a devotion. God's really been speaking to me some really cool yeah. stuff about how we can open up um, into that space. Yeah, right. um, but it'll be a, it'll be a shorter devotion. It'll be brought out sort of Tuesday morning ish. Mm -hmm. Um, allowing us the whole week to watch, engage, and then hopefully have some more, you know, more meaningful uh, and and deeper conversation threads. Yeah, Not that I'm disparaging of anybody who's put up wonderful comments tonight, especially about Polly Waffles. But I would love to think that with one devotion um, and having it sort of able to be accessed all week, maybe there's place in there yeah. for co the comments. And the responses to be at the end, yeah. as opposed to oh, I'll just say great, Merit, yeah, she's you good, you know, yes, you're you're the Morrow bar of the favourites box, and I won't say any more because I'll be back again tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, no, that's really good. Hmm. So that's kind of what we're thinking. Um, we are really excited that come December we're looking at some of the things we'll do with our Sunday morning streaming. Mm -hmm. Uh, and how we can continue to uh, in both increase that and, and make that more meaningful. I really believe that that's going to be super exciting. We'll have more information about that. Mm -hmm. But um, through the rest of this uh, October, November, mm -hmm. our Sunday AM's at 9 o'clock. Yep. stays the same. Yep. But what we're looking to do is we're looking to pivot in this time with online. Yeah. And I guess, you know, we had the conversation from when I was on leave is that I don't want to do it based on any other reason that God's got some promises for us in this online space. Absolutely. And I think that if we're just doing, 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 mm -hmm. doing, mm -hmm. um, and we're not actually allowing ourselves to go farther, what is it? Mm -hmm. What are your promises for us as a community yeah. in an online space? Because it's not just about you and I or, you know, the wonderful Laura and Catherine and, and mm -hmm. Beth. I mean... Beth and Tom, I mean, seriously, what a what an invitation to use their gifts in this season. Um, it's not just about us; no. it's about the whole community saying, right. "How do I, you know, slowing down a fraction?" Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, through October, November, December, January, going, Lord, what is it that you want us to be doing in an online space yeah. that that continues to build mm. community, that continues to to open up conversation that continues to invite us mm. into deeper and deeper ways of connecting, communicating okay. and growing together as opposed to now when we came from lockdown, mm. we were doing 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Then yeah. it went to, you know, and, and we just have to stay connected, stay connected. Yeah, that's good. Is that cool? Yeah. Did you want to reflect out of any of these verses? Because um, otherwise I can probably wrap up. No, you 
doing he must be doing a great job, isn't he? So I, I think he's doing a great job. <laughs> So I get I guess in again in uh, you know you can say I'll oh, just tell us that we're changing don't try and spiritualize it you don't have to have a Bible verse to say we're only going to do do one a week and not three a week. Well, he's an external process. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I think too there's the, that you know the the Lord is actually saying and I love this because as I sixty one is this sense of I, the Lord's spirit is upon me and I say that upon you. Yeah. I say that the spirit of the Lord is actually upon you. Mm. And, and I mean that for you, Laura, Isaac. I mean that for you, BA. And I saw you come up before. I hope you're still with us. We absolutely adore you, BA. Um, you know, uh, and to Trish, the Spirit of the Lord is actually yeah. upon you. The only person who's ever known the absence of the Lord is Jesus mm. when the Father turned his back with him on the cross mm. so that he would never, ever turn his back upon us. Mm. So the Spirit of the Lord is upon us and he's, a, he's upon us to be able to announce freedom, to, to uh, bring new seasons about, to preach good news, to, to bind up broken hearts yeah. and open eyes up. Hey, that's actually upon us all. Yeah, that's awesome. And we've quoted that many, many, many times. But I love that when it gets into Isaiah 61 verse 3, it has this sent this instead of. Mm. Because we're doing all of these things so that you won't just, you won't have this, you can have that. Yeah, well. So you won't stay here, you'll go there. Yeah, you yeah. won't settle for this but you'll actually rise up into that and this is what it actually says it actually says that there's a reason why my spirit is upon you to open blind eyes and heal broken hearts and to set captives free and to to tell the whole world hey god actually loves you yeah um is actually to strengthen those crushed by despair yeah, wow. it's actually to give them a beautiful bouquet and here we go instead of a place of ashes yeah and I just want to say to some of some of my friends out there, you know, I really believe that if we would still ourselves, quieten ourselves before the Lord, I really believe we would see a loving, yeah. loving God come into us with flowers mm -hmm. in His hand to you in places that we've just only seen ashes. Mm -hmm. wow. It actually says, I want to give you a beautiful mm -hmm. bouquet in a place of ashes. I want to give you an oil of bliss yeah, wow. instead of tears, a mantle of joyous praise. Mm -hmm. And then that doesn't just mean singing. It means God is good. Life is good. Yeah. I'm happy. This yeah. is wonderful. And, and this joyous praise instead of a spirit of heaviness. Yeah. Because of this, they will be known as mighty oaks of righteousness mm. planted by God for the living display of his glory. And so I'm going to finish. I'm not going to go and dive into Philippians 4. We actually did a devotion on that and stuff mm -hmm. today. Um, but it talks about how we fasten our thoughts on things which are good and noble and, and honourable and true. Yeah, you know? really and I think that if we're going to pivot, mm. not just in online spaces, but with our hearts, the pivoting isn't over for the year. No. You know? And I don't mean that by a prophetic word, we're going back into lockdown. Uh, I know a lot of people go, I wouldn't surprise mm. me. If, actually, it would surprise me if we went back into lockdown. Yeah. I really believe that the, the, the your prayers, our prayers together, the communions that we were taking every single night, I believe the Lord actually looked upon those as a sacrifice. Yeah. We sacrificed time. We put it out there in the public spaces, yeah. being faithful. You did that. And many of your friends did that. And many people just looking in agreed with us. Yeah. Even if they don't agree with our style of church or our approach to faith, they agreed with yeah. us that the Lord God is a God who is a healer, yeah. who is you know, majestic and has yeah. got this island in the palm of his hand for eternal purposes. There is there is a kingdom call upon this island Absolutely. that nowhere else on the planet has. Absolutely. A redemptive purpose for the planet. Yeah, this gosh. island. And I so it would actually it would actually really surprise me if we go back into lockdown. But God is still control, calling us to live in instead of life. Yeah. To leave something old behind to take up something new. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's a, a thing of beauty. Yeah, that's great. So anyway Share this with your friends, please, please. Um, you know, we're here uh, at 9 o'clock on Sunday. 10.30 mm. in, in live is going to be awesome. Yes. It is. Family fun. Family fun. I believe. Oh, yeah, I believe. I believe, I believe. Mm. Sing it, Katrina. Anyway, so um, 
in our comments bar, you'll actually see the registrations come up. You'll be able to register for this Sunday. Hey, listen, you will need to register yeah. for this Sunday. Yeah. Our fun family services are massive. Mm. The team has done an incredible job. There's stuff before, during, and after the service for the whole family. It's going to be full. Mm. It's going to be full. So you'll need to register. So yeah. uh, get the link. Uh, share it with your friends. Mm. Uh, they'll they'll do that. Um, we'll be back. Here, we'll be here at nine o'clock for our online. Yes. Uh, we'll be right. back here with a pre-recorded devotion uh, with me next, next Wednesday, week. and then it'll drop down. Uh, would you Would you pray for these girls? Yeah. I need a sure. drink of water. I just talked flat stick for twenty five minutes, but it's good, isn't it? Oh well, yeah. that's I could talk into wet cement, but that's yeah. true. Yeah. But thank you. All that you said is great. Really Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, and we really appreciate wisdom to, to pivot mm. at this time. We were just reflecting earlier um, about that scripture on you know, John 8, verse 32. It talks about, you know, the, the truth will set you yes. free. We were just talking yes. about that word truth, actually, um, in Hebrew, really meaning reality. Mm. And um, actually, just I think a lot of what you're talking about is actually that we can, can have an ability to see God's reality in this season and not be... Um, I suppose contained and, and intimidated by, by what we think that we see from our awesome. own perspective, but awesome. we want to see God's truth. We want to see His reality. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, great. So, Father, we just want to thank you. We want to thank you for the for the opportunity to gather. We want to thank you for the opportunity um, to share Your Word and to share Your good news, mm. Lord Jesus. And we just thank you for each person who is online in this space with us. Mm. We thank you that they are pushing and they are pressing in, Father, and their their heart's desire is to see. Um, a glimpse of your reality, Father, oh, to see a glimpse of your perspective for their life, for their family. Um, Father, that they can hear the promises uh, that you have, that, you, yes. that you're speaking over them and over this community and over this island state, as Matt has already declared. Um, Father, for, for all that has been shared online, we thank you, mm. um, up, you know, for, 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 for everything that, that has been shared to this point. And we thank you for the value. We thank you. For your word we thank you for your presence in that and that it's going to continue to go amen um, forward and we thank you for this new pivot father that, that that you just asked us just to shift into that's going to be we believe a blessing unto our community father mm. we thank you for all those um, who have so faithfully um our staff in particular and, and our church community oh yes lord who've just given and um and opened themselves up father and been vulnerable online and um for all that they've shared father uh, just just about their journey with you. Mm. So Lord, I just ask your blessing um, Thank you. on each person and your blessing Thank um, you. on this shift, Father, and yeah, in your precious mm. name, Jesus. Amen. 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 I, I really feel like we should pray for Fregans. Well, actually, I was thinking that um, it'd be great uh, just to keep Jess Lay in your prayers. Yes. Um, because she's not far off. Being I heard there. tomorrow. I heard tomorrow's oh, the baby day. I don't know, that'd be up for Jess to share. Yep, Jean, Jess, Noah. Well, we're praying for you guys. Bless you. So bless you all. Yep. Um, yeah. And if you know a Fregan, be kind to them. Be very kind to them and give them some free Go food. and love a Fregan. Yeah. Hey, God bless you guys. Go and love somebody. Bye-bye. Bye. See you.